Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the group anagrams problem. Given an array of strings, group anagrams together. Example, they give you this as input. These are the words, and the output is a list of list of strings. So every list in here contains the anagrams grouped together. As you know, two words are anagrams if they have the same letters, but the order is different. So it's a rearrangement of the letters. For instance, here, A is an anagram of E, because if you rearrange the letters, you can actually get eight. And T is also an anagram of E, because when you rearrange the letters, you get T. Nat is an anagram of 10, because if you rearrange the letters, you can get the other. So it says note, all inputs will be in lowercase. The order of your output does not matter. How can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem. One way is to sort. Another way is to use the property of the character counts. So in this video, I will show you the sorting approach. In the next video, we're going to use the character count approach. So how can we solve this using sorting? Well, what we can do is that we can take advantage of the property that two words are anagrams if and only if the sort of the words is the same. If you sort each word, what you get is the same because they have the same characters. So if you sort, those two words are going to be, the result is going to be the same. So you can use that as a key and by using that as a key in a map, you can actually group them together. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to validate the input. So if strs equals equals null or strs.length equals equals zero, I will just return collections dot empty list. So if the reference is null or the list is or the array is empty, I return the empty list. Then I need a map from string that's going to be the key to list of string and that's going to be the value. I'm going to call it m for map gets the value of new hash map. And then I will examine every string from left to right. So for string str in strs I will sort every string str, so string t gets the value of sort of str, and this method sort is a helper method that I'm going to write down below later. Then I will say if not map that contains key t, I will say map that put t map into a new array list of string. And then I will say map that put map that get t that add str. So what I'm doing here is that I sort the string str for every string in the in the array, and then I check if it's not there, I will put it as a key, map into a new list, and then I will get that list for this key t and I will add the corresponding string. So all the anagrams will be mapping to the sort of version of the of the anagram. So because they all map to the same sort, they will be grouped together. And then by the end I just have to return new array list of map that values. This is a helper method, so I will write it down below. Private string sort the parameter is s. I will say array of character a gets a value of new gets a value of s that to char array. Then I will say arrays that sort a, and then I will return new string 
with A. So this will sort the string S and it's going to return a new string that is sorted and then that will allow me to sort every character I mean to sort every string in the in the array and then I can use that as the key that way I can group every anagram of that key in the list corresponding to that key and then I can just convert the values um, to a list and return it so I will run the code All right, I will submit my solution. This is working perfectly. So, as you can see, this is 8 milliseconds faster than 96.96% of submissions for, for group anagrams. So, the time complexity of this solution is big of n k log k, where n is the length of the strs array and k is the maximum length of a string in strs. In the next video, I'll show you how to write a different solution that has better time complexity and using the property of the character counts of the anagrams. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.